All right, it was another hot day, not as humid, and some areas even seeing a few showers and thunderstorms uh, this afternoon going into this evening. Looking towards the south, this is from the West Bank Tower Cam. You can see the thunderheads off in the distance. These are closer to the Grand Isle area where you're seeing some pretty strong storms currently. Most of the area, though, hasn't seen much in the way of rainfall, and really it's been south of New Orleans and kind of in lower Terrebonne, lower Lafourche Parish. As you can see there down towards Homa, you had some storms earlier. It's all dissipated. Just some spotty showers off towards your west, and then that stronger thunderstorm continues to drift slowly towards the south. Here's Grand Isle. Port Fouchon's just below the map there, and you can see this pretty strong storm with a lot of lightning in it. Maybe some gusty winds, 30, 40 miles per hour, is continuing to drift towards the south. So kind of seeing a lot of that heavy rain there in Grand Isle just towards the uh, east. If you're in Golden Meadow, you're seeing some of those heavier rain uh, showers and plenty of hearing plenty of thunder more than likely. So this is pretty much the only strong storm we have in the area. It'll dissipate over the next hour or so. And notice most areas staying dry. Temperatures are going to drop into the 80s. We got up to 94 at MSY this afternoon. That's not a record. Uh, record was 100. And then notice our temperatures fairly comfortable as we go into tonight. Humidity not very low, but it could certainly be a lot worse. Tomorrow we'll get back into the mid 90s about where we were today. We'll have a mix of sun and clouds going with about a 20 to 30 percent chance of showers and storms mainly during the afternoon and pretty similar to what we saw today. I think it'll mainly be south of the lake and really right along the coast. You can see some of those afternoon showers and storms developing tomorrow, maybe three, four, five o'clock. Pretty much what we're seeing today, uh, kind of in lower Terrebonne, lower Lafourche Parish going towards lower Jefferson. Here in New Orleans, we probably won't see much in the way of rainfall, but about a 20% chance. And then the North Shore, you probably won't see anything. Just going to be dealing with mostly sunny skies. As we go to Thursday night, though, we dry out and looks like we do it all over again for your Friday. So you notice today it was certainly hot. There's no doubt about it, but it's not as humid and it looks like that'll be the story tomorrow as well. Heat index values. If you could stay below 100 degrees with the heat index values this time of year uh, here in southeast Louisiana, we call that a win. It's going to be hot regardless, uh, but your heat index values are not up around 108, 110. Now the reason for that is because our dew point, the humidity has been fairly low for our standards running in the upper 60s and lower 70s during the afternoon hours. That'll be uh, again tomorrow. It'll slowly increase by Friday and then notice once you start to get back in the upper 70s to the mid 70s, which looks like we're going to get back into where we should be. That's when you start to deal with those heat index values over 105 getting into that heat advisory criteria. So this weekend, it's going to be much more humid during the afternoon hours with plenty of the heat around. Now, really not expecting much in the array of rainfall over the next seven days. Our rain chances will stick around 20 to 30 percent as we go into the weekend, but big rain totals. We don't really expect that. We don't expect widespread uh, high rain totals over really the entire area over the next seven days. Now out in the tropics, we do still have Invest 94. It is struggling quite a bit. It has a low chance still. Here's Bermuda. It's drifting towards the west, southwest. It has that low chance because it's fighting a lot of the wind shear and dry air and just doesn't look like it's going to be able to do much, but we'll watch it, but it doesn't look like it's going to be a big deal. Further out in the tropics, pretty quiet for now. We're really not expecting any development over the next five days or so. Of course, we take this about five days at a time because things change quickly. We've got a strong tropical wave in Africa. We'll watch that later on down the road, but there's still a lot of that dry, dusty air that should keep most of this to the south, most of it unorganized, so we're not really expecting that to do much. But of course, we're getting into the middle of August pretty soon, and that's when hurricane season really starts to pick up. Notice we're about here. We'll be climbing up to the peak, which is about September 10th. So during this time period, we'll likely start to see more development. Don't be surprised over the next three to four weeks. You're going to be hearing a lot about the tropics, of course, and then by October to going into November, things finally start to quiet down. Next storm day, by the way, will be Josephine. We're already halfway through the list. And you can see here, no issues for us in the tropics, so it's just going to remain hot. It'll turn gradually more humid as we go into the weekend, and better rain chances by the beginning of next week.